This is the weekly news from ICU Management and Practice. Recent data from Israel suggests Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine is far less effective at preventing infection and illness with the Delta variant than with previous strains of coronavirus. Results show the vaccine was only 39% effective at preventing infections and 41% effective at preventing symptomatic infections caused by the Delta variant. These results are significantly lower than previous estimates. However, the vaccine still provides high level of protection against hospitalisation and severe illness caused by the Delta variant. The biggest penalty for drugs companies' role in the US opioid crisis was announced last week as a result of the largest and most complex civil litigation battle in the legal history of the US. Three major drug distributors, McKesson, Cardinal Health and Amerisource Bergen will pay $21 million over 18 years as they have been found guilty of ignoring clear signs that billions of pills spilled onto the black market. Johnson & Johnson will pay $5 billion over nine years. Life expectancy in the US dropped the most in more than seven decades last year. The toll of the COVID-19 pandemic has also widened existing gaps in life expectancy between white and black Americans. The pandemic has delivered a bigger blow to American life expectancy than any year of the Vietnam War or the AIDS crisis. The US lags behind all high-income countries in life expectancy, with a total of 609,000 COVID deaths since the pandemic began. According to new figures, pay for nurses and other NHS staff in England has declined by more than 7% since 2010. Remuneration for nurses, community nurses, medical secretaries, speech therapists, physiotherapists, paramedics and radiographers has dropped by 7.3% and 7.6% in just over a decade. It is believed that the Royal College of Nursing may take some form of industrial action as they feel after the hardest years of their working lives, nurses deserve much better. 